Hello all passionate data enthusiasts. Welcome you to this session dedicated to unraveling the intricacies and distinctions between two pivotal roles in the realm of data-driven decision making, the data analyst and the data scientist role. In today's digital age, where data acts as the new oil powering innovations and driving strategic decisions across industries, understanding the nuances of these roles is not just academic, it's fundamentally essential. As we delve into this topic, we aim to shed light on the unique contributions, skill sets, and mindsets that define and differentiate these professions. Let me tell you a story before we move ahead. The room was in this array. Papers scattered everywhere. Drawers pulled out, and the safe was wide open. The faint glow of the street light outside barely illuminated the room. It was clear that a burglary had taken place. Detective Sharma, the data scientist, was already there. His eyes scanning the room, taking in every detail. His mind was already forming hypotheses, running algorithms, looking for patterns. He was a master at making sense of complex data and this crime scene was just another data set for him to decipher. Detective Varma, the data analyst, walked in, her laptop under her arm. She was the one who made sense of the raw data, who cleaned it up and organized it into something that Sharma could work with. She was meticulous, methodical and had an uncanny ability to spot anomalies in the data and present the relevant data to the team. Together, they made a formidable team. Sharma could formulate the theories and Varma could validate them with her analysis. They were just getting started, but they were confident that they would catch the burglar soon. So what did we notice here between the different roles of Detective Sharma and Detective Varma? So this actually brings us to the topic of the differentiation between data analyst versus data science role. Now you'd have seen that to solve a problem, you need both the roles, but definitely their goals are different. Data analytics is like examining specific clues and evidence from the data at the crime scene or your business problem to understand what happened in a particular incident. Data science, on the other hand, is like using broader investigative techniques, not just to understand specific incidents, but also to predict future crimes, identify crime patterns, and suggest preventive measures. Data analytics focuses on processing data and performing statistical analysis on existing data set. It aims to power specific questions about what happened and why. Data science combines statistical analysis, machine learning, and data processing techniques to understand the data, predict future trends, and derive actionable insights. Let's move on. So let's say that you, as both a data scientist and as a data analyst, are looking at photo album which could be of your marriage, your fifth birthday, or whatever event that has happened in your life. So you as a data analyst is like examining specific photos to remember what happened at those events. It's focused on understanding the story behind each photo. Who was there? What was the occasion? And so forth. It's about making sense of what you already have. Data science, on the other hand, goes beyond just looking at the photos. It's like using the entire album to predict how future events might turn out, what themes or settings lead to the best parties, how relationships between people in the photo have evolved over time. It involves more complex tools and theories to not just understand the past, but also to make informed guesses about the future or unseen aspects from those events. Let's see another story. So this time we have two people. We have Alex, who is a data scientist, and you have Jordan, the data analyst. 
They're working for a multinational company. Now, the story that we're going to get into is set up in a boardroom. So let's get into the boardroom and listen to a conversation between Alex and Jordan. It's a modern, well-lit office boardroom. Alex and Jordan both are standing in front of a large digital screen displaying an album of various data sets and visualizations. Alex, the data scientist, pointing to the complex chart. Jordan, look at this pattern in the user engagement data over the last quarter. It's not just seasonal. There seems to be an underlying trend that could indicate a shift in user behavior. Jordan replies, the data analyst. Interesting, observation Alex. I ran some descriptive analytics on the monthly active users, and you are right. There is a consistent increase, but I focused more on what happened. Do you think it's something we can predict going forward? Exactly, my thought. I am considering building a predictive model using machine learning to forecast user engagement. By identifying the factors influencing these trends, we might not only predict future behavior, but also influence it with targeted actions. That makes sense. From the analytic side, I can dive deeper into the segments, showing the most significant changes. By understanding the who and the why behind these shifts, we can provide more targeted insights for your model. Perfect. I was thinking of using a neural network for its ability to capture non-linear relationships. With your detailed analysis, we can fine-tune the features to include in the model. What do you think about the collaborating on this? I am on board. It will be valuable to see how the insights from my analysis can complement your predictive model. Plus, I am curious about these different factors play out in your neural network. Great! Once we have working model, we could even explore prescriptive analytics. Imagine not just predicting user engagement, but also recommending specific actions to further boost it. That would be groundbreaking. It could transform how we approach user engagement strategies. I'll start by breaking down the data into more granular segments and identifying any anomalies or outliers that could skew the analysis. And I will start prepping the data for the model and exploring different architectures. We should also set up a meeting next week to review our findings and plan the next steps. How does that sound? Sounds like a plan. This collaboration could really highlight the strength of combining detailed analytical insights with advanced predictive modeling. Let's make it happen. Agreed is a synergy between data analysts and data science that can drive truly innovative solutions. Let's dive in. So we have seen the conversation between a data scientist and data analyst that would have given you more detailed analysis or detailed perspective about their roles. Now let's see who a data analyst is. Data analyst is like a history teacher who looks at the history at historical events, which is your data, to narrate what happened and why using tools like charts and reports. The skills that you need to become a data analyst is primarily focusing on analyzing past data using statistical tools, creating visualizations and reporting findings to help businesses make informed decisions. An example here could be a supermarket data analyst examines sales data to report what products sold the most during a particular season. Talking about data scientist, a data scientist is like a fortune teller, not only interested in what has happened, but also in predicting what will happen in the future using more complex tools like machine learning models. So the key skills that you need to become a data scientist involves a deeper level of analysis, including predictive modeling and advanced algorithms to forecast future trends, behaviors, and outcomes. Example here could be a supermarket data scientist uses past sales data, customer behavior, and external factors like holidays or economic trends to predict future sales and suggest which products the store should stock up on. Let's see some more examples here. But before that, I want to ask you a question. So let's see if you get it right or not. A company wants to know which month had the highest sales last year. Who will this person call upon? Will it be a data scientist or will it be a data analyst who will help the company to know which month had the highest sales? What do you think? Now for the second question, 
The same company wants to forecast sales for the next year to plan inventory and marketing strategies. Who will they call? Second set of problem we are seeing. Will it be a data scientist who will help the company or a data analyst? What do you think? So the first question would be answered by a data analyst. The data analyst shifts through the sales data, uses statistical methods to analyze monthly sales and create a report showing sales trends throughout the year, highlighting the month with the highest sales. Whereas the data scientist builds a predictive model using last year's sales data, considers external factors like market trends and predicts sales for each month of the coming year, helping the company to strategize effectively. In essence, data analysts look backward, analyze what data says about the past and present, while data scientists look forward, using data to make predictions and inform strategic decisions. How about going to a school and seeing the role of a data scientist at the data analyst at a school? A school data analyst looks at the student grades and attendance records to identify patterns or trends such as whether the student who attend more classes tend to get a higher score on tests. Whereas a data scientist in the same school might develop a model that predicts student performance in future courses based on their past grades, attendance, and other factors like participation in extracurricular activities or time spent on homework. So by now you should be clear about the roles and skill set required for a data analyst and a data scientist. Let's summarize before we go. Data analyst looks at what has happened or what is happening. For example, after reviewing sales data, a data analyst might report that ice cream sales increase when temperature rises. Data scientist uses data to predict what will happen or to unearth hidden insights. For example, a data scientist might use weather forecast, historical sales data and social media trends to predict how much ice cream will sell next month. In short, a data analyst examines historical data to provide actionable insights about the past or present, while a data scientist uses a broader set of tools to predict future outcomes or discover deeper insights, often building models that can automate decision-making processes. Thank you for watching.